This video is all about starting businesses and should you, especially with our current environment, the lockdowns and all. Let's talk about it. Roll it. Welcome back to another video. My name is Nikos Rentes. This is MentorsApproach.com where we strive to make a video each and every week to get you thinking and moving in the right direction. So hit subscribe. Well, starting a business is incredibly challenging in the best of times when the economy is rolling and everything's moving in the right direction. And now, well, it's incredibly challenging too. In fact, 10 times more challenging. It's hard either way you look at it. However, there's always opportunity. And we're seeing opportunity play out for many people. And the question is, what are we doing sitting on the outside watching in? Are we taking advantage of the opportunities that are there or are we watching them go by? And this is where we come into play with discussion about what is the right idea. It comes from an email, actually. Hi, Nikos. I am in a tight spot with everything that has happened. My husband walked out on us a few months ago after a few years of being miserable together. I'm sorry to hear that. That's tough. The mental state of the family is getting better with the breakup. I have been out of work for the last several months. And although I still have funds, I am worried if money doesn't come in, then I won't be able to keep the house. Although he promised to keep contributing to the bills, I haven't seen a dime. Lovely. I was thinking to launch an online business. I have researched everything and I'm confident it will do well, but I am not sure with the lockdowns if it will take off. What do you recommend for people trying to launch right now? And, you know, look, I'm going to start off saying that this really sucks for you. Like, there's no other way to put it. Like, what a douchebag. You know, at the same time, it, it happens. It happens. And, and the question is, you know, can you even rely on anything that comes out of that? And can you spend any more time that you spent? You're doing the right thing by researching and analyzing, trying to figure out what to do for yourself. This is 100% the right direction. So along comes this idea of what you should be doing with the lockdowns. And I mean, this is where what you're writing here makes um, it puts a perspective of a, of a storyline of what the typical person is going through. We've, we've done a lot of coach calls on this. We've coached people through starting a new business during this time. We've worked with a lot of people. And, and the idea here is a very simple, okay? You're looking at it and you're saying, I've done all my research. And then there's the aspect of the logic. And then there's the aspect of the emotion. So when we're looking at this, we're saying to ourselves, we're does the person really fit in on this? So we're launching our courses right now. We're getting people to jump in there. We'll have a link below if you want to be one of the people that are trying this out to go through everything and, you know, just give us the feedback. Let's let's help you grow business and see what we need to construct our courses. And what we've done in those is we analyzed this and we've said, well, what are people coming to us with? And usually what happens is they have a business plan that has either covered fully all the risks that exist with launching their business with the current environment or they've touched up on it but really haven't dove dived into it so this is the idea that we need to really look at from a perspective of logic it's called risk mitigation so in project management we really dive into that and make sure hey if uh, this situation occurs, what do we do with it? If this other situation occurs, what do we do with it? And we have the action plans for it, and we've already calculated the cost that it's going to have on it. So we know that if plan, you know, this plan is working and then this thing occurs, I know how much money it's going to cost me. I can act on it. Boom, done. I'm off to the races. So we know what the issues that uh, we can plan for. And then, of course, we have a budget for the stuff that we can't really plan for. We don't really know what's going to happen. So we put that aside and we know there's going to be a budget for that. Now, when we do that and we're accurate on that, the idea becomes it's a logical decision. Do you do it or do you not do it? Okay. It's based on the return of investment we're going to get. Do you move on it or not? However, there's, <clears throat> there's always this aspect of uh, emotions. And especially when we're, we don't have a lot of funds. And we look at it and we go, where are our emotions? And what typically happens when people come to us, and what ends up happening is they, they have already talked to a whole bunch of people in the family, friends, colleagues, you name it, and they will get a whole bunch of mixed emotional responses. Yes, you should definitely do it, or no, that's too dangerous. Why would you do that? You have kids, okay? So you, put, you get this idea of emotional charge responses, 
and or reactions rather and then you then look at your situation and it will tilt based on where your emotions are at so it doesn't matter what stuff you've researched you're you're having the situation of to make a decision between you know doing or not doing based on emotionally charged mindset and if you are in a hyped up you'll be like yes i'm gonna get up tomorrow and like go do it and then you know some days you'll be like mm, i don't know so we got to bind those two together. So we got to look at it and we got to look at your plan and we got to ask ourselves, you know, is this plan on a logical level? Does it cover me on all the different risks that come with the lockdown? You know, what will happen if I delay? And how does this all look? Opportunities are everywhere. So I, you know, we've coached people that are open restaurants right now and we're coaching people on how to sustain the restaurant while lockdowns are happening and how to maybe even make money on that. And you have the person that's losing the restaurant that will take the opportunities that exist to sustain it. And you have the other ones that are going, I'm just going to close it up and I'll do my best to pay the bills. And you're like, what? Okay. And then on the other side, you have people that are going, how do I open a restaurant? So-and-so told me that you helped them open a restaurant. Can you help me open a restaurant? I got this great idea. It's going to succeed during lockdown, you know? And you sit there and you go, oh, where there's opportunity and somebody sees it, they'll take advantage. It doesn't matter of the environment, okay? And in this case, the environment's giving uh, a birth to many opportunities that will be excellent during these times. So they're going, let me take advantage right now. So... Let's put that into perspective of what, you know, what I would be recommending for somebody who's in the situation that you're describing. You have so much money to play with. You're looking at your situation. You're saying, I'm emotional in up here on the positive or on the negative, but I still have this fear that's stopping me. Okay, so let's address this fear. This fear is out here. It's off the screen, okay? And we need to bring it in, put it in the middle, and analyze it on where it is on you know, where it's coming from, A. B, where's the risk mitigation that's going to play out to cover this fear? First off, I look at everything that's happening with my family. I'm looking at it from a perspective of how long do I have the funds to carry me through? Okay, first, if I get a job and just work, or B, if I go and I launch and I put the numbers down. So if you're going to go work and then start the business after the lockdown's finished, who knows when, okay, then I have to create this budget. So I can save money and keep saving money so I can work more on the business side of stuff so I can launch when the lockdown's in. Or B, I'm going to look at my budget, I'm going to look what I have, and if I launch, based on the risk mitigation that I'm going to put in play, okay, I know how much time I have. And I know if it doesn't succeed, how much time I have. And I know if I lose that money, okay, if that investment goes bust, hey, it's fine. You're going to be okay with that. In order to do all this, the best way to really handle this is to look at it and say, you know, who can I go talk to? You want to find somebody who has done a similar business, who can consult on this that has financial experience. So you're going to go look these guys up. It doesn't matter where they are. You know, local would probably be better if you could meet in person. But since we can't meet in person, it doesn't really matter. They're going to analyze this. And then they're going to say to you, hey, here are the different decisions you can make right now based on your current circumstance. And hey, by the way, you missed all these risk factors that exist. We put in all the numbers. We crunched it. And here's your ABC decisions you can make. Now you have unbiased decisions because your plan probably is somewhat biased. So they're going to look at it. It'll be unbiased. I'm doing this right now. And I, this is what I consult when people, when people come to me coach wise, and I'm getting, starting to put them through the program and I go, go through this program. It's A to Z to launch a business. And then they start asking me more questions. They're looking at this and I go, Hey, go find somebody who is specialized in what you're trying to do. And then we can talk about it. I'll coach you through it, but let's get those numbers in because it's biased right now what you've created. And, and, and I've done the same thing because I have some ideas and I'm biased about them. Of course I'm biased about them, especially in the situation where I'm all hyped up to invest more money into businesses. Okay? Very simple. I, and I'm doing, like I go to my account and I'm like, yo, do these numbers for me because like, I think I've overinflated in a few things. I'm a little bit biased on it. Do the number crunching. What will happen? You're going to spend, of that budget you have, maybe 500 maybe maybe 1000 maybe 1500 bucks on the consulting to get the information you need. Okay? And then you're going to make the decision much more easier between, hey, do I wait or do I launch? 
That's it. Okay, wait, go get a job so you have money because you don't know what's going to happen with your ex and or B, go launch. And now you're going to be able to put that fear aside. And this is all we need to really focus on. And then you'll know, like after that, anybody comes up to you, family, friend, whoever that you've talked to and they're like, oh, you didn't launch the business. You, know, you don't need to talk about it with them anymore. You don't need to think about it anymore. Okay, you don't have to. This is the critical aspect of it. And better yet, one more thing before I let you guys go, it's this idea of, you know, if you go and see somebody who specializes in this, they might be able to put you in a position where they introduce you to somebody, if your idea is very good as well, that they'll be able to get you more funding where you can protect yourself on the money you have and really make a good opportunity work for you with more investment involved in it, okay? And, we, and we've had that happen. Okay, we've had that happen. We had a tech startup that we were coaching and, you know, we introduced them to the right people and they, you know, that investor was like, that, that, that accountant was also an investor and he goes, I have a buddy, we'll both invest into this. You know, because you guys really need a solid $100,000 to get this launched plus the funding that we're going to get from the government. <laughs> you know, and all of a sudden it just exploded. It was a great opportunity, you know. So you, you look at these situations and this is how you have to really play this into perspective so that you can take that fear away, that emotion away and make the right decision at the right time. Always remember, you're investing your time, energy and money into all of this. And if you're not looking at it from that perspective, you're, you're, you're emotionally driven. And we want to take that emotional drive out of play so that it is all based on the return on investment of your time, energy and money so you can make the right decisions at the right time. The whole series is up here on making the right decision at the right time with that time, energy, money. And up here is a video that's going to really get you moving in the right direction. So check them out.